Remember this? <laughs> the Ice Bucket Challenge for ALS raised a lot of awareness and money, but there's still no cure. Duke University Dr. Richard Bedlack wants to change that. He runs one of the top ALS clinics in the world. We want to try to give people back as many things that ALS is taking away from them. As He's worked with over 2,000 patients and is part of a review team of 95 scientists from 10 countries investigating new alternative therapies. Even though it sounds strange, it's not mainstream theory on ALS, that doesn't mean it won't work. His top pick for further study, coconut oil. In ALS, motor neurons can't make energy. Once ingested, coconut oil converts into ketone bodies that can be used by cells as energy. But if you could give the body some other way to make energy, some other source of energy besides the mitochondria, you might be able to keep the cells alive longer. So we ought to study coconut oil. Next up, fecal transplants. Bedlack believes more research is needed to see if placing good bacteria back into the gut of those with ALS could help some with the disease. He notes one case overseas with amazing results. There's a person who got a fecal transplant with ALS that a doctor confirmed had ALS, that a doctor confirmed got up out of his wheelchair and walked after a fecal transplant, which we've never seen with any other treatment for ALS. Finally, cannabis might help stop the progression of ALS and treat symptoms like weight loss, muscle spasms, and secretions. I think there's a lot of reasons to be optimistic. I'm Marty Salt reporting.